In this video homework guide, my plan is to cover factoring problems where we need to use the difference of squares technique. And for uh, the difference of squares technique, uh, we're dealing with uh, polynomials that are binomial. So that means two terms. And you also need to have a minus sign in the middle. So these kind of problems sometimes are pretty quick to factor as long as you recognize that there's two terms and, and that there's a minus sign in the middle. Okay, so if I take a look at the very first question here, uh, this question definitely has two terms, x squared and one, those are my two terms, and we have the minus sign in the middle. So this requires the difference of squares uh, technique here for factoring, and we would start off by um, setting up two brackets. Uh, one sign is always positive, and the other side is always negative. And then we just take the square root of each term. So the square root of x squared is just an x, so an x here and an x there. So x times x gives you the x squared. And then uh, the square root of one is just one. So I need a one there and a one there, and then, and then I'm finished the problem. Moving on to letter B. So once again, we do have uh, two terms in yellow, and we have a minus sign in the middle. So this is a difference of squares in terms of factoring. So I need to have two brackets, and I need to have a plus sign and a minus sign in the middle. Uh, after that, you're just taking the uh, square root of each term. So the square root of y squared is y, so y there and a y there. And the square root of five, uh, sorry, the square root of 25 is five. So I need a five here and a five here. So for difference of squares, uh, when you're factoring, um, the terms are always, sorry, the y's are the same. The brackets are pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is the minus sign and the plus sign. Okay. Uh, letter, letter C, uh, once again, there's two terms and a minus sign in the middle, so I can set up two brackets. And one sign is always gonna be positive, the other sign is gonna be negative, and we just take the square root of each term. So the square root of four is two, and the square root of nine x squared is three x. So a two and a three x in both the brackets. And then we're done. Okay, moving on to uh, letter D. Uh, once again, there's uh, two terms and a minus sign in the middle. So I need two brackets. One sign is positive, the other sign is negative, and then we just take the square root of both terms. So this would be five y um, plus six and five y minus six. Now for the next one, although there's two terms, uh, this is definitely not a minus sign. So uh, we can't use the difference of squares uh, factoring technique. So this one is just, we can't factor. All right, so uh, it needs to follow the exact criteria of uh, two terms and a minus sign in the middle. Okay, for the next one, we definitely have two terms and now we have a minus sign in the middle, so I can set up two brackets. Uh, one sign is positive, the other sign is negative, and then we just take the square root of both sides. So this would be a and x, and that would be a and x as well. Okay, uh, moving on to the last two here. Uh, once again, there's two terms and a minus sign in the middle, so I need to have two sets of brackets, and one is gonna be positive, the other is gonna be negative, and then you just take the square root again. So the square root of four x squared is two x, and the square root of 81 y squared is nine y. So two x and nine y go into the brackets for that particular problem. And finally, the last one here, um, once again, there's two terms and a minus sign in the middle. This one, there's a fraction, but uh, that's still not gonna be a huge problem. Let's finish off, so let's continue by having the plus and minus signs there. And if you take the square root of x squared over 81, well, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 81 is nine. So we need to have an x over nine to start off the brackets, and the square root of 100 is 10. And that's how we can finish off that particular problem. All right. For question number 13, uh, a few more difference of uh, squares uh, factoring problems. Um, I do tell you that you need to factor each binomial. So when I say binomial, that's two terms. And when you're dealing with two terms, this is definitely the difference of squares factoring technique. All right, so once again, we can uh, set up two brackets. And since there's a minus sign in the middle, uh, we can go ahead and do the plus sign, the minus sign right away. And then we can finish off by taking the square root of each term. So this would be four the square root of 16 is four, and the square root of 25x to the power four is five x squared. 
and then we had a 4 and a 5x squared as well. Okay, for letter B, um, two terms and there's a minus sign in the middle, so uh, two brackets. I need to have a plus sign and a minus sign in the middle. And then the, uh, the square root of 16x squared y squared would be 4xy, and the square root of 4 is going to be 2. So 4xy and uh, 2, those are the numbers that, those are the expressions that go inside the brackets. Okay, now for the next one, although there's a minus sign here, uh, we need to start off by looking at the 20 and the 5 because we can factor out a greatest common factor. There's no way you can take the square root of 20 and 5, so uh, that's an indicator that you need to uh, use a different technique to get started. And uh, once again, if I look at the 20 and the 5, 5 is my GCF, so I can factor that, factor that part out first. So that means I'm dividing every single term by 5, and that would give me a 4x squared minus, well, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so uh, minus 1y squared or, or just y squared. And then if I take a look at the inside term here in blue, I can definitely factor this one. Uh, this is going to be 5. And um, sorry, the 5 comes down. And now we're using a difference to squares uh, factoring technique because there's two terms and there's a minus sign in the middle. So there's a plus sign and minus sign. And then we just take the square root of each term. So this would be a 2x. And the square root of y squared is just y. So this would be 2x plus y and 2x minus y. And that would be my uh, final answer for that problem. For the next one here, um, we do have a minus sign in the middle, but you'll notice that we can't take the square root of these numbers. So uh, we need to factor out a greatest common factor first. So here's a two and here's an eight. The biggest number that divides two and eight at the same time is two. So let's factor out the two by dividing each term by two. And that would give me x squared minus four. And then if you look inside the middle here, x squared minus 4, we can factor that by using a difference of squares again. So we need a plus sign and a minus sign, and then we just take the square root of each term. That would give me an x and a 2 and an x and a 2 as well. So x plus 2 and, that, and x minus 2 to complete the factoring. Uh, for letter E, uh, there's a minus sign at the front. So when there's a minus sign in the front of your polynomial, a uh, very good rule is to factor it out. So this, be, this would become x squared, and then this would be minus 16. Remember, that's a plus sign, and if you factor out a minus sign, then we need the opposite sign, which is minus. And then once again, we can factor the, the inside here um, by using a difference of squares. So two brackets, a plus and a minus, and now we can take the square root of each term. So the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 16 is 4. So x plus 4 and x minus 4. Okay, um, same situation for all these problems now. I guess we've got to look for a, uh, a greatest common factor first because we definitely can't take the square root of those numbers. The biggest number that divides 12 and 75 at the same time is the number 3. So 3 would be my, sorry, th 3 would be my GCF. So let's divide each term by 3. And that would give me uh, 4x squared minus 25. And now we look, at, look into the inside there. And there's two terms again. And there's a minus sign in the middle. So let's go ahead and factor this by using a difference of squares technique. So we need to have a plus sign in the middle and a minus sign at the, uh, on the other bracket. And then we just take the square root of each term. So this would be 2x. And that would be 5. This would be 2x. And this would be... 5 as well. So 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5 to complete the factoring. Okay, uh, we're getting there close to the end here. Uh, for this next particular problem, I would go ahead and rearrange the terms first. So this would be 2y squared minus 98. So just uh, interchange both terms. And then there's a 2 and a 98. We need to factor out a greatest common factor, which is 2 in this case. So we divide each term by 2, and I get y squared minus uh, 49. And then, uh, once again, if I look inside the brackets now, I can factor that by using a difference of squares. So this would be a plus. That would be minus. Uh, square root of both sides. So this would be y plus 7 and y minus 7 to finish off. Okay, great. 
Uh, one last question to go, and then we're done the difference of squares uh, factoring uh, homework problems. Now we have uh, two terms and a minus sign in the middle, so uh, you're probably thinking that we need to set up two brackets, and we need a plus sign and a minus sign in the middle. And then you take the square root of both sides, so this would be x squared, and that would be 1, and this would be x squared minus 1. Now, we need to continue factoring this problem because if I take a look at this binomial here, this is also another difference of squares because there's a minus sign in the middle. So I can factor this one again by putting a plus sign and a minus sign. And this, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 1 is 1, so x plus 1 and x minus 1. And then this uh, binomial here would just tag, tag along. And this right here is your complete factored problem. Okay, so that uh, concludes this video on factoring by using the difference of squares technique.